Hey everyone, welcome back to All About AI Tech, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in AI. Today, we've got some jaw-dropping research from Bright Edge that's going to blow your mind. If you think you know everything about Google's AI overviews and search trends, think again. Stay tuned to find out how quickly things are changing and what it means for you and your business. All right, let's jump right in. Bright Edge has revealed some fascinating and rapid changes in the keywords that trigger Google's AI overviews. Imagine this. Keywords that were trending in June have already shifted by July. That's how fast-paced the AI landscape is right now. For instance, they found that keywords containing the word best were triggering AI overviews 50% more in June. But guess what? By July, this trend had completely flipped. Mind-blowing, right? Let's break this down with some numbers to make it clearer. Keywords starting with what is saw a 20% increase in AI trigger frequency in June. Similarly, how do queries saw 15% rise, while questions like symptoms of and words like treatment saw 12% and 10% increases respectively. These shifts are monumental and point to how AI overviews are evolving to meet user needs more efficiently. But that's not all. Bright Edge emphasized that e-commerce search queries are also experiencing a surge in AI integration. Since the beginning of July, there's been a 20% rise in e-commerce-related keywords triggering AIOs. Hold on to your seats. Product searches with pros and cons in AI overviews have spiked by an astounding 66.67%. Imagine shopping online and getting a quick pros and cons list directly from the search results. How convenient is that? Jim Yu, the founder and executive chairman of Bright Edge, had some interesting insights to share. According to him, Google remains the dominant player driving around 92% of organic search referrals. However, he advises staying vigilant as new AI competitors are emerging. You explained that even if Google is far ahead, the landscape is shifting constantly and businesses need to pivot quickly to adapt. His advice? Use precise insights to monitor and prepare for changes. Speaking of dominance, let's talk numbers again. Bright Edge estimates that each percentage point of search market share is worth a whopping $1.2 billion. This means even tiny gains in market share are enormously valuable. Incredibly, despite all the buzz about competitors, Google's market share is still robust at approximately 92%. This data demolishes any speculation that AI competitors could significantly bite into Google's search traffic, at least for now. Now, here's a point of interest for all the search marketers out there. Google has taken significant steps to reduce the amount of user-generated content in its AI overviews due to previous backlash for low-quality responses. This move has resulted in a massive decline in referrals from Reddit and Quora. Brightedge's findings show that citations from Quora have decreased by nearly 100%, and Reddit has seen an 85.71% dip. Google is now prioritizing more established and expert content over forum discussions. Moving on to other players in the search market, Bing is experiencing slow but steady growth. Its market share has grown marginally from 4.2% to 4.5%. It may seem small, but as the saying goes, better to be moving forward than standing still. Even incremental growth in this competitive landscape is a positive sign. Now, let's talk about Perplexity, the emerging AI-driven search engine. Perplexity is growing at an astonishing monthly rate of 31%. Although 31% of a small base number is still small, it shows significant traction. What's more, this growth indicates a potential shift in where people search online. Many publishers might not yet be shouting about their traffic from perplexity, but the momentum is clearly there. And how about chatbots? Turns out, chatbots like Claude and ChatGPT aren't really designed to drive referral traffic to websites. These tools currently have minimal impact in terms of sending traffic our way. OpenAI, for example, uses a rel equals norfer HTML attribute which hides traffic origins, making it difficult to track. This might change as the technology evolves, but for now, don't count on chatbots as significant traffic drivers. Bright Edge looks forward to a future where LLMs, large language models, might become significant traffic sources. While current numbers are small, their growth could influence how people search and how brands optimize their digital presence. Bright Edge predicts that with incremental growth, Referral traffic from LLMs could become a crucial factor for marketers. Remember when people scoffed at the idea of browsing the internet on mobile devices? Look where we are now. Similarly, it's not unreasonable to believe that LLMs will have a substantial impact in the future. 
Brightedge's conclusion is clear. Monitoring and adapting to these changes are essential for staying ahead. Let's wrap this up with some actionable advice. With trends changing so rapidly, having fresh data is crucial. Brightedge delivers real-time updates, giving marketers the edge they need to stay informed and make better decisions. So, whether it's understanding AI overview trends or adapting to market shifts, staying updated will give you that competitive edge. Thanks for watching, folks. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to All About AI Tech for more cutting edge insights. We're always striving to improve and build a community where we can share and learn together. Your support and feedback are invaluable. So drop a comment below and let us know what you think. See you next time. Let's drill down onto the rapid change in keywords triggering Google's AI overviews. Bright Edge found that keywords containing best triggered AI overviews 50% more in June, but this reversed in July, when these same phrases didn't have the same effect. It's a roller coaster of trends, guys. This just shows how dynamic and unpredictable the AI landscape can be. Speaking of fast paced changes, keywords starting with what is saw a whopping 20% increase in triggering AI overviews in June. That's right. More people are asking foundational questions and AI is adapting to answer them swiftly. For instance, someone typing, what is machine learning? Would likely see an AI overview more often now compared to just a month ago. And it doesn't stop there. How do queries saw a 15% increase in June? So, if you're searching for how to bake a cake or how to fix a car tire, AI overviews are more likely to pop up with step-by-step -step guides or tutorials. This is super helpful for DIY enthusiasts and learners alike. Health-related searches like symptoms of saw a 12% increase in treatment for rose by 10%. Imagine you're feeling unwell and searching for symptoms of flu. AI overview might now give you a quick summary of what to look for and treatment options. This can be incredibly useful for people seeking fast and reliable medical information on the go. Let's shift gears to e-commerce. There's been a 20% rise in e-commerce-related keywords showing AI overviews since early July, which is pretty astonishing. Imagine looking up best laptop for work, and now you're getting AI-generated lists that are incredibly detailed and up-to-date, making your shopping decisions way easier. What's even more fascinating is the 66.67% spike in product searches that feature both pros and cons in AI overviews. Think about it. You're shopping online for the latest smartphone, and the search result not only lists the specs but breaks down the pros and cons. It's like having a seasoned tech reviewer guiding you through your purchase. Amazing, right?